What's up, guys? Tenacious Rick, back again with another comic book review. Uh, this time, we are going to um, put the new DC on the back burner and check out the new Ultimate Spider-Man issue one. Uh, this is where you find out who Miles Morales is and where he comes from. Uh, this issue, I mean, I wasn't too impressed with. I like the art. The art was pretty good. The coloring was, was pretty good. Um... But the story, I mean, yeah, it does let you know how he gets his powers and how it's all connected to Peter Parker and Norman Osborn and all that. You don't ever see him in a suit or anything like that. But, um, I don't know, I just don't like the fact that he's, like, a really young kid. I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, I know in the Ultimate Universe, I think Peter Parker was, like, 16 years old, but... I don't know, I guess it's just hard to be, even though Peter Parker is still alive in the normal universe, it's just kind of weird to see someone else is going to be wearing the Spider-Man costume, and yet, as you can see here, a completely different costume. It's like everything's reversed, you know? I mean, the costume isn't isn't bad. But, uh, hey, let's just take a look at some of the artwork on the inside here. Cover's pretty good. Not bad. The art's not too bad, you know, it's pretty cool. I like the coloring in it, the shading and everything. I think that looks pretty cool. You know? Not bad. But yeah, there's no action or anything in this. You don't really see any anybody do much. Just, again, introducing Miles Morales, telling you where he came from, who he is, his family, and, again, how he got his spider powers. So hopefully in the next issue it'll get more into that. Oh, and there's something towards the end that you find out that he's his powers are going to be different than Peter's were. So, um, you should probably pick this up because even though this one was kind of slow, I think that it'll end up getting better. So I'm definitely going to check out the next issue, the next few at least, to get past this whole origin story and see what's going on. But I think I'll probably read, like, maybe three or four issues, and then if I don't like it, I'll probably stop. But right now, I'm definitely going to pick up issue two, because I want to know what's going on. And I'm kind of hoping it's going to be good. So, um, let me know what you guys think, guys. If you've already read this issue, uh, leave some comments down below. Uh, don't forget to uh, rate, subscribe, and also check out bkbn.net. And I'll see you guys next time.